After the shiny happy people drama, Amy Duggar briefly encountered an irate Anna Duggar. After several years of separation, Amy Duggar King and Anna Duggar, the wife of her cousin Josh Duggar, reconciled. Good news, we saw Anna, stated Amy, 36, and her mother Deanna Jordan in a TikTok video posted on Friday. August 4th. I was giving my friend's mother a hug when I looked up and saw that Anna was only a few inches away. Amy, Deanna, who is Jim Bob Duggar's older sister, and Anna, 35, all seemed to attend the visitation earlier that day for a family member who passed away. Oh my god, she looked so angry, Deanna, 61, chimed in before Amy noted that Josh's wife looked so ticked at the world during the memorial. She's obviously right there in front of me, so I go, oh, completely startled that I'm literally seeing her face after years, Amy said on Friday. I said, Anna, and I kind of patted her back and she said, just give me space. I gave her space, I didn't make it a big deal and I walked away. After that, Amy made the assumption that Anna, who wed Josh, 35, in 2008 before having seven children, knows that I have been talking about her and how I've been trying to reach her. Deanna went on to say that she respected Anna's remark that she needed space by not even attempting to hug her. She is aware that I am saying Anna, you don't have to be alone in this, and that I am putting it out there. We're here for you, and we'll look out for your kids, Amy replied. But y'all, she made it obvious tonight that she doesn't want or care for our assistance, and that she will follow Anna's lead. Deanna added that they still love Anna and her children and wish for them to be free from the nut job teachings of discredited minister Bill Gothard and the Institute of Basic Life Principles. They also stated that either Anna and Josh's firstborn, Mackenzie, or Jim Bob's daughter Jennifer, who is one of his 19 children with wife Michelle Duggar, was bawling her eyes out next to Anna during their unexpected reunion. Amy and Deanna had no idea what the preteens crying over, and neither of them made any assumptions.